Today we're going to demonstrate how to use MTI Instruments 1510A Precision Signal Simulator to generate the necessary signals to test a piece of vibration monitoring equipment, in this case the PBS 4100 Plus. So Isaac, why would we use the 1510A to calibrate our PBS 4100? Well, over time the equipment, the electronics in the equipment is going to drift just a little bit, but if you really rely on precise, accurate signals, you need to check those signals every six to twelve months to make sure they're operating within specifications. So Isaac, can you explain to me how, how difficult it may be to do a calibration check on the PBS 4100 with the 1510? So in order to test the calibration of a piece of equipment like this, you generally have to simulate a number of different frequency inputs and a number of different amplitude inputs to make sure that they're all functioning within tolerances. For the PBS 4100, we have integrated the control of the 1510A into the PBS software. This means that the PBS software will control the 1510A to simulate all the necessary signals to check the calibration of the equipment. At the end, you get a summary table such as the one shown here and you can scan down through the table to make sure that there are no areas that are red which would indicate an out of tolerance condition.